Morning. You join me in a cold, empty garage. Uh, the Allegro is still being fettled with, uh, look at that, at uh, GE refinishes. Uh, there's absolutely no rush to get it back, obviously, with this lockdown on again. We can't even go anywhere till, I think it's the end of March, isn't it? So it's a nightmare. Um, I hope you're all okay during this terrible time. It's annoying. It's, uh, what is there to say? I'm losing the will to to live, to be honest. It's a nightmare. Uh, it's just, I have to work through it this time, which is good, um, but yeah. Uh, so even got a letter from work in case, because one of our work colleagues got pulled up by the police for traveling. So I've got a letter. It's like a, you know, old Gestapo times, isn't it? Papers, please. So yeah, got a letter in the car if I get pulled. So just work home, work home, and then very rarely shopping. So there's no Allegro news and I'm in no rush. It's nice having the garage empty because it gives me a chance to do jobs on the new camper van. And actually, although it's freezing here, it's better than being outside. So a lot of you won't have seen the new camper van. I have got another channel with that on. Um, it's obviously there's no tinker it's just me messing around fitting things on the new van which we can't use uh, that's another a moot point isn't it by the time i can actually use it it would have been a 21 plate instead of a 70 but hey ho what can you do it hasn't moved since the day it came here from the dealership hey great we love it I'm trying to sound positive but it doesn't work Anyway, I have a little bit of tinkering to do today, which I really don't want to do. It's freezing cold, but the Land Rover has stopped leaking transmission oil, which can only mean one thing, it's got none in it. So I've got to crawl under a cold, wet Land Rover and fill that up with oil. And I'm also going to have a go at, there's a few bulbs gone out on the dash, uh, including my glow plug light bulb. So I'm just going to do a bit of that. It's dry, but it's cold, as I've said a million times. So it won't make for a very interesting video, but I thought I'd just do a catch up with you anyway. Um, it's not the video that I'd like to. This is my hundredth video on this channel. I noticed this morning I was on 99 videos. I thought, well, I'll make the hundredth one. and I'd have liked to have made it something exciting, but sadly not. Me, me messing around with a Land Rover in the cold is not exciting. But I haven't made a video for ages. I like making the videos. It's self-gratification in a way as well. Anyway, that's what we're on today. Catch you in a bit. I actually thought what I'd do, <clears throat> the Land Rover hasn't been started, obviously since yesterday. It's freezing this morning. I'm just gonna show you. It does seem to start better since I've had the timing belt done. Maybe the time was out of fraction. That's the radio warning panel. Just got it holding on the glow plugs for a bit. This is a live startup now. That's not bad for an old diesel. There you go. I don't know what you can see under here. This is the transmission box. As you can see, it's lovely and clean because it's just cleaned perpetually with oil. That's the, um, the filler there. Looks like it's uh, just a ratchet. I'll try and crack that out and somehow get the oil in. Right, <clears throat> plan is this. EP90 gear oil, a pump that I bought from Aldi ages ago that I've suddenly remembered I'd got, and a small battery. Now I'm not sure if the oil's gonna be too thick to transfer, but we'll have a go. Uh, it's going to work, it's going to be slow, the pump's certainly struggling with the oil. Maybe I could warm it up if it's not going to work, I'll think about that. I've just got to um, undo that hex nut like I told you to get to the oil filler. Sort of the danger of looking semi-professional. Um, I've even put a bucket under to catch it this time, so it doesn't add to the oil slick. Um, yeah, I've undone the the bung, and there's absolutely zero oil dripping. So we're well in. I guess we just uh, keep running it until it comes out. Because I can't hold the pump, hold the phone, and uh, 
check the hole. I'm actually well impressed with this. Once it sort of gets flowing, it's good. There's clearly no oil in it. Just pause the pump so I can show you the actual hole with the thing in. Let's try and turn it on. I'm very precariously balancing things here. Just, um, can you see that? Just started seeping out now. Perfect. You just see it overflowing. That's the actual level when it starts to overflow. Just tighten that back up now. Not lean on it too much. It's only into aluminium. That'll do it. Yeah, so that was a brand new unopened five litre tub of EP90 and you can see it's had the majority of a litre in there I'm not sure how much the transfer box holds but I don't expect it's overly a lot um, so clearly it, <laughs> it was not leaking as badly because there wasn't much oil in it um, also I'm imagining now the transmission wine that I developed over the last few weeks that was gleefully ignoring and pretending was the tyres will probably cease now. <laughs> um, that's 20 litres of engine oil. I've got to top my little filling up. I carry one litre around with me. Um, I topped it up yesterday at work inside on the level. I did actually pull the Land Rover inside at work yesterday, trying in a vain attempt to defrost the windscreen washer jets that were, that were frozen. Uh, so I did the oil while it was on the level yesterday. It doesn't burn oil, it just leaks oil, the uh, the crankshaft end bearing to the gearbox is leaking. So it, it drips out of there. So yeah, I've topped that up. So I'm gonna fill my one liter up and then the ATF, I'm just gonna check the power steering. While I'm on the fluids, I might as well check them all. Uh, because at the minute, um, yeah, with the Allegro being away, this is my only car and obviously I wouldn't use the Allegro in the winter anyway, but I need the Land Rover to be as uh, reliable as I can. This is the um, thing I was just on about, where the crankshaft from the end of the engine meets the gearbox. You'll see a little drain hole there. You can put a wading plug in there. But that's where the engine oil leaks out of on the majority. You see, I've just wiped it all off. I also note I've still got a leak from somewhere on the uh, oil filter housing something to look at i know the filter's tight i think it's when i um i pinched the wire under there if you remember when i changed the oil and i imagine i've just damaged the seal a bit although it does look like the um the oil pressure switch is leaking a fraction that's probably a better view for you of the um the bell house enjoying where the where the leak comes from you see you can put like i said you put a wading plug in there um, but it's uh like i say when the crankshaft seal leaks it lets a uh, dirty engine oil out of there here's one thing i did do uh, just the other day at work uh, you can see behind the grill i've made a plastic panel and just cut some holes in it uh, it lets the engine warm up a lot quicker and it doesn't seem to adversely affect the temperature gauge but it's certainly, uh, although the heater's not brilliant well that's a, that's a lie actually, the heater is really good in the Land Rover but there's so many drafts that it's sort of forever fighting against the drafts but anyway, that now lets it warm up at least a couple of miles quicker than it normally would so you just got to keep your eye on the gauge yeah so this uh, being a county model we have the added bonus of power steering which is a godsend in one of these let me tell you I had a 110 uh, Defender years ago 
and it had no power steering, it used to cripple me. The Series 3 wasn't as bad for some reason, but uh, the 110 was. But anyway, it looks a bit low. There's a mark on the dipstick, but I can see the level of the oil is a bit low, but we'll see what it says. Yeah, I'd say that's not on the stick. You can get some oil. The eagle-eyed viewer will spot that it says automatic transmission fluid. Um, it also says on the back power steering fluid. You can see that, so it's fine. I have absolutely no idea if the gauge Dextron 2D is correct for this, but considering it leaks that much, I don't really care. What's it going to do? <laughs> All right, just put some in there. You can phys physically see it's a lot higher. That in. Yeah, I'd call that good. The steering might be a bit better now. As I say, I did the uh, the oil yesterday. It always amazes me with these old diesels how dirty the engine oil gets. That's all good. On the maximum, when we're on the level. Check that again in a couple of weeks because, like I say, it drops a bit. So while we're at it and it's nice, the sun's come out now, uh, I'm just gonna, you can see, checking the brake fluid definitely needs a, an exchange that is a bit grimy. And the clutch fluid, um, might put a fraction in that clutch pot. And uh, I know the water's okay, expansion tank's okay, because it had to um, have the system drain when it had the uh, cam belt done. So yeah. Pretty good, done them then. Bit of dot four, just put a tiny bit in the brake fluid and fill the clutch one up. I think this is the thing, when you've got the nice weather in the winter, you've got to get on top of your maintenance and just have a quick look over. Uh, I didn't want to come out here this morning, I'll be totally honest. Sort of lost my mojo with the lockdown and nothing to look forward to and stuff, but uh, yeah, I'm enjoying myself at the minute. I just noticed. The oil on the underside of that, clearly it's leaking from somewhere from my turbo pipe. I'll have to have a look at that in a minute. Just uh, something to keep my eye on. Um, this was not loose, but went round a good three or four turns. So it's possible it could have been blowing a bit of oil mist up here, I guess. Uh, I've wiped it all off that. I'll make it one of my regular checks. Um, I mean, it's obviously an old tired engine, so you have got to keep on top of it, really. But uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. I'm loving this new uh, pump transfer thing. So I've just uh, got the XS EP90 through. I'm gonna fill my little one litre, carry one up with it. This is sort of non-interesting at all, <laughs> but all my little warning lights here, the glow plug light has stopped working. The glow plugs are still working, because when you turn the key, well obviously you've just seen it start, but uh, all the lights dim. So I'm guessing the bulb's gone. Uh, I've never took this panel off before. Oh, I have a selection of bulbs, so we'll see what's under there. Right. It's a panel with a load of multi-plugs on the back. Let's see if I can pull them off and have a look. Yeah, you can see better if I flip it upside down. They should just clip off easy enough. All right, that's off. Uh, the only accessory bulb that's actually live is the um, heated rear windscreen, which is that top one there. The underneath one, which you can see all them bulb holders, the white ones. None of them have got a bulb in and no wires to them, so park brake, two blank ones. So yeah, park brake hasn't got a bulb in it. The one underneath it that's just blank has got nothing in it. The one underneath the, the indicator one hasn't got anything in it. And the one under the heated screen that says 12 volts, I'm guessing that's for a tow bar, if you'd got a factory one fitted or something. Don't know. Anyway, we'll see what's, what's uh, actually working on these bulbs. All right, so I've got assorted bulbs and holders um, and a lot of the a lot of the bulb holders were actually blanks in the back of this so what I'm gonna do um, you don't need the ignition on to test the main beam flasher 
So I'm going to use that as my test thing to test all the bulbs and um, see how many good ones I've got. Look what I've just found in the box. <laughs> a paper cutting from when you used to buy cars out the newspaper lot. I remember fetching that. 4950 So I paid less for that on a H reg in clearly it was MOT December 2001 so clearly sometime in December uh, sorry sometime in 2001 so 20 years ago I paid less for that than I've just paid for this ha crazy man right so all I've been doing is just going through all the bulbs putting them in the uh, main beam and just checking that they work. I could have done it all with continuity, but got my meter out, but where's the fun in that? So I'd got two bulbs that had gone. Um, obviously one was the glow plugs. I've no idea which the other one was. And then I've got a batch of good ones in there. Here we go then, all back in. I've put a bulb in everything, even though a lot of them aren't wired up. Uh, for example, let's put the ignition on. The main thing we've got is oil and battery. Uh, the park brake isn't wired up because I know there's no wire on it anyway. The brake and the exclamation mark, I presume, could be uh, brake fluid level. The seat belt isn't wired up, obviously. Um, I'm not sure about the P with the with the circle in it. That again, that doesn't light up, but the bulb's good. So the uh, trailer now works for the hazards, which it never did before. The indicators work, the side light works, as does the fog light, if you turn the headlights on. Uh, the glow plug light now works, and the, the four-wheel drive one, no idea, I'm not going to fart about with that, and I know the petrol light works, so we've got a full complement of everything that I'm interested in anyway. There's my new van, just in case you don't follow my other channel, I did do a channel about my camping stuff but just thought I'd show you that stick it in this video have a look at the other channel if you want um, you can find it from my channel it's linked at the top of the page there you go then that's me done uh, not much of a video I apologize for the lack of content as I say the Allegro isn't here um, there's not a lot to do you know you can't manufacture jobs and to be honest when it's cold you, you struggle anyway to to want to do jobs i've enjoyed that little bit of a tinker on the land rover um i'll obviously keep you updated if i hear anything about the allegro but like i say while it's out of the way i've got uh, stuff i can be doing using the garage space although that said you know i could have been changing the water pump on the allegro after that little bit of a leak was discovered by my mate lee so it's all swings and roundabouts, but like I say, I'm in no rush to get it back if I can't go anywhere. Um, so yeah, that's it. I would have liked to have had a, a, you know, a more interesting video for you, but it's all something to watch if you're bored in it. I'd watch it, and <laughs> I wouldn't really. I wouldn't watch this crap. <laughs> Joking, I am. Right. Stay safe during these strange times, people. I'll catch you when I catch you, and uh, there we go. See you later. I'm Batman. <laughs>